GrandMA3D is a visualization tool. It takes the 3D information that you define for your lighting rig while patching and translates it into high-quality computer graphics. With GrandMA3D, you can visualize multiple gobo wheels, color wheels, decroic color mixing, iris, zoom, pen and tilt, and of course, intensity. As well as visualizing your lighting rig, you can also create and import 3D objects or choose from a large built-in library of scenic elements to complete the virtual environment. Venues, equipment, primitive shapes, trussing, and even people are all available from the built-in library. Technically, GrandMA3D is a slave station in a multi-user session with your console. The method for connecting the GrandMA console and GrandMA3D is the same as when connecting a slave console. In the GrandMA3D software, click on the MA Network Toolbar button and then click the button with two shells. Unlike the console, Windows defines the IP address of your system. Therefore, your PC can have multiple IP addresses. For this reason, GrandMA3D offers a drop-down menu to choose an available IP address. Make sure that the one you choose is compatible with the GrandMA console's IP address and that the IP address is for the adapter that you are using to connect to the GrandMA console. Once you have connected your GrandMA console to the GrandMA3D software, the show will be automatically downloaded from the console into GrandMA3D. By clicking on a device in the property bar, it is selected in the GrandMA3D and its properties are displayed in the lower half of the display. Clicking and dragging on the coordinates and world bars will adjust the physical positioning of the object. You can use GrandMA3D to redefine or adjust the physical positions of the devices under control. Any changes made in GrandMA3D while connected will also be made in the GrandMA console. You can match the colors to see along which axis the object will move. Clicking and dragging on the rotate in world bars will adjust the physical rotation of the object. The Predefined Objects tab allows you to browse the library. When you have found what you're looking for, objects can be dragged into your virtual world.
any bitmap or JPEG image can be applied to a primitive shape.